here from Craft Me A Card and I just wanted to share with you guys really quick a mini haul I got from the Dollar Tree. Not the 99 cent store, but the Dollar Tree. Okay, first I was very excited to find this tube confetti. I have never seen this before. I thought to myself it's like sequins, you know, the little tube sequins. But these are made out of aluminum, seems like, maybe. They're very light, so I thought these would be perfect on shaker cards. And now I'm curious to find out if it's too light that it will, it will stick to the plastic that we use for shaker cards. So I have yet to test it. Um, it doesn't seem like by the package everything stays in its place, but... I'm curious to find out. They have other colors, but these um, are the two that I think I would be using the most, so I just grabbed these two. Anyway, it's very excited to use these. I also grabbed these sequence, sequence palettes. Um, I like it because the cup is a little deep, which allows you know the shine to reflect from different directions. Um, great for shaker cars, great for embellishing, giving the, the card a different feel. So I like these three colors. I got autumny color, manly colors, and girly colors. So I am excited to use these as well. The other thing I have here are pearls. So these are stickers, but they are on a line. The adhesive is on a line and they're stuck on the line. So if you peel a whole line, it's okay to put across a card or something. Rarely do that. I don't think I've ever done that. So if I want to use these, I would have to snip each little pearl individually and then stick on my project or peel it off the adhesive and glue onto my um, card. But um, I still think it's a great value. Um, a dollar for each one. They do have other colors. Again, I just got the ones that I think I would be going to more. And besides, if I want a different color that I don't have, just grab an alcohol marker of any color and I could color the white and it'll give me the color that I'm looking for, hopefully. Okay, another thing that I got over here, the foam sheets. Um, these caught my attention because they're very thin, thin foam sheets that I think would be good for cutting my die cuts. I use die cuts a lot. So my idea is to die cut these and maybe layer two of these sheets onto my die cut so it could give it an even um, thickness and it'll pop up off my card. But again, I have yet to try it. I was looking for colors like black, brown, gray, white, but they didn't have it. This is the only pack they had. The lady says that they do get it every now and then. So I will be poking my head in there later, later uh, to see if they have a different color. That is only if it works for what I want it. Another really uh, interesting find that I got um, is this pop dot tape. No dots. I don't know why they call it dot, but this pop tape. Ah, pop dot tape. Um, so I was really excited to find this only because it is already cut in thin, uh, you know, stripes. Okay. So I am always finding myself cutting my foam tape to strips and this, uh, I feel damages my scissors aside from the glue getting everywhere. It's time consuming. It's uncomfortable. So I was very excited to find that they have one already cut for me. Isn't that nice of them? And they have three different sizes in this pack. So um, I was um, so excited that I got three packs total of this. And I know I'll be using this because I go through foam tape a lot. And it's not cheap. So I was very excited to find this. So I will be giving this a try see how the glue sticks and he see how how that works also i found foam mounting tape um that is this is a roll and of course this is more for your money but it is not pre-cut but it is thin which i liked because i can control the thickness that i want um so also like i like to mail a lot of my cards out i like to use thin foam tape to 
give it a little bit of dimension, but yet not make the card bulky. So I found this one, and in a different section, I found this foam mounting tape, which is pre-cut already, which I love. Now, this is very similar to the one I get from the 99 cent store, which is this one. The 99 cent store roll is a little bigger, yes, but sometimes I cannot find it at the 99 cent store. So I was excited to find it at the Dollar Tree. Um, so in case the 99 cent store doesn't have it, I could always look for it at the Dollar Tree. So that was another one of my finds. Um, that is all. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys get inspired and go peek your head into these little thrift shops and sometimes you find stuff that you know is a great quality and you could use and it's at a cheaper price. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.